Let's practice the seesaw song using our bow, and then we'll add our violin. So pick up your bow. You can try getting your bow hold, so that's pinky, three fingers laying down, and a curved thumb. Your other hand, your left hand, can hold the tip right over here. Now when you play and you switch strings on the violin, you switch strings by lifting your elbow and arm, so it lifts up, and now you see how it's a mountain. I've made a big old mountain and you could tumble down the mountain. Or if I want to switch to different strings, I might lower my arm and I might create a valley. You can see my arm and my elbow especially is a deep, deep valley. And it would be a long climb to get up to those strings. So put the bow in the middle and let's try lifting our arm, lift it and the elbow so you create a mountain and now Deep, 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 deep down in the valley. It would be a long climb to get up to the top. Let's try going up and down. One more time. Up and down. This hand over here that's holding it, it doesn't have to move. Just your bow hold, the side with the fingers. Let's try it one more time. Get your bow hold, pinky, one, two, three fingers, and your thumb. Let's try going up and down. Up and down, just like if you were sitting on the end of a seesaw. Now I want you to get your violin and your bow. So get your violin and your bow. I'm gonna turn this way a little bit so you can see what it'll look like. Put your violin in playing position. You got it? Now get your bow on the road. That's that spot between your bridge and your fingerboard. Put it in the middle of the bow. And when we play, the seesaw song looks like this. My elbow goes up, and then it goes down. Then it goes up, and then it goes down. And when I do this, I'll also pull back and forth. So the seesaw song sounds like this. Listen one time. So put your bow all the way on the growly G string that's to your left. Get your elbow high up in the air and get ready to pull. Ready, set, pull. C, saw. C, saw. C, saw. C, saw. Stop. Stop. You still going? Okay. So let's try again. Make sure that your bow hold still looks good. So you put your pinky and your one, two, three fingers and you curve your thumb, put it on the violin, put it on the road, and let's try it again. I'll show you from the side so you can see. Start with your bow over on the growly G string and your elbow way up in the air. Ready, set, play. C, saw, C, saw, C, saw. One more time. Stop. Is your arm tired yet? After a lot of seesawing, your arm gets tired. Let's do it one more set of seesaws before we come in from the playground. Okay, you ready? All right, hold the violin in playing position. Don't droop, stand up straight. Put the bow on the G string, that growly growly G string. Get your elbow up in the air. Not, not way up high, but just a little bit higher than it was. Ready, set, play. C saw. C Good. All right, now I want you to put it in rest position. So I'm going to tuck it under the chicken wing. Rest position and bow. Good work.